He's just a he's just a normal guy with a lot of money. Okay, back to aliens. All right. What um you got some? Yeah. Are they here? Are the aliens here? Are there aliens on this planet? Go ahead and say it. Just say it one time for the video. What am I saying? Alex Jones and lizard people. Come on. I wasn't going to say they are that. Come on. Jones I know that's what route, route you're going here. I, 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 lizard people own everybody. And I mean, if Alex, Jones, if Alex Jones said it, it's probably true. <laughs> but <laughs> but are, are there aliens here on Earth? Are they observing us? Are they uh, manipulating us? Do they? My question would be this. Do they need to be here on Earth? Could they be like, you know, just hanging out like somewhere in like the asteroid belt or some shit, you know, past like the moon and the you know, moon and you know, is there focus just be like, order. how about that? I, I, I would think that yeah, this they place would, is fucked. Yeah, I would think that they would find us entertaining at the very least. It's probably like a comedy T V show okay, on how stupid right. humans can be. Right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I think it, I think it was actually Futurama that they uh that one uh, uh, uh group of aliens had uh, you know, the Earth being like a reality TV show or some well, shit. I think it was South Park. It, I, I don't know. I think it was Futurama. I could be wrong. I remember seeing it, too. Yeah. Well, but that's, either way, yeah, you think something like that yeah. is going on, and we are just entertainment for another species. Let's be honest. If, if, if we had the ability to fly around and see different species, and we decided not to, uh, not to interact with them on a personal level, would, would we... Would we watch them, and would we? It, could it be uh, become a thing where people would watch it on television? If if would there be like a television channel you on think Earth? That's what UFOs are? They're no, cameras. I mean, could they be? <laughs> Why not? Why couldn't they be? But Why not? Fuck it. Yeah, you gotta have an open, open mind. Okay, to answer your question, yes, one hundred percent. Because motherfuckers here in America, they watch fucking reality television, right? Nonstop. So. Let's see what the fucking gargoloids are fucking doing today. You have to think if you if you're so advanced that you they're they're more advanced than us and they have less problems than us. That leaves more time for them to want entertainment and to be entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> or maybe they're evolved enough where they don't need entertainment. Uh, I mean, entertainment could be a human thing. Yeah, it could, it could be. Yeah. yeah, who knows? Maybe they don't have emotion. Who knows? That is a. I mean, emotion would point. make them I think, I think a much more advanced, advanced civilization. Messed up people without emotion. emotion. Yeah, without emotion. Without emotion. Yeah. yeah. If they just thought strictly, like logically, right? Without they didn't have to worry about people's feelings. Yeah. Oh my god! Can you imagine a whole like billion population of aliens that are all like psychopathic and <laughs> shit. <laughs> They don't give a shit about oh. people's feelings. Uh, okay, all right. Can you it, imagine it, that shit? Yeah, it's all, right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, okay. And, and, all right, that, that kind of brings me into a question that I did think about and want to have, or discussion about, rather. What if, you know, an extraterrestrial race actually comes to Earth, and they're like, oh, you know, we want whatever you got for a valuable resources, probably, Gold. you know, like, I mean, obviously gold or, or water. water or something like that is, is an obvious choice, but let's say they actually decide to attack. So Do you believe we actually have a fucking chance? No. Not if they're flying through fucking space. There is one way we have a chance, and that's for the world to unite. But what are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> you answer your own question. <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance, but hope is gone. <laughs> I think, to, to, to be honest, with a common enemy that, that threatens its extinction, I think that the world could come together, but would they be able to come I fast, think, I think come 90%. together fast I, enough to, think, to, to fight back? And, and even, even then, if they're advanced enough to come to our planet, consider the kind of weapons uh, that they have. They probably won't even use weapons, in my personal opinion. They use like, kind of like bio-warfare where they, where they just... Kill us with a disease or something like well, that. Well, I, I actually think ground. that they will attack us with sharks with laser beams on their head. Yeah. And high power wind. <laughs> Compressed air. Right. <laughs> He's talking about sharks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know where he was going with this. I just was like, oh, I don't know. Anyway. I don't think we would 
stand a chance whatsoever. I mean, it depends here. Yeah. We got to look at it from the other side too. Well, while we they have something that they don't, from an evolutionary standpoint. So you, you mean we would probably have to find like uh, what beats them? Like yeah, uh, you have to provide value. Well, to an extent, I, I guess more or less what their weakness what would their actually weakness would be. be. Yeah, yeah. But how long would that take, and would we avoid that? You know, completely. Well, it'd probably just be little roll of factions everywhere at that point in time. Most people would just die. Yeah, I agree. What 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 is what is the idea that they would be coming hostile? Like they would be coming here hostile? I mean, this is just like obviously okay. Yeah, the pro. I mean. Maybe they come, you know, peaceful, but I'm saying what if they decide to attack? Okay. You know, it's kind of like it's a like what a 50, if. It's like a 50 50 chance. So the question. Okay, and, and, and that also leads me into the next point. What if they come peaceful? Do you think that the world populace would, you know, be, you know, welcome them, open arms and everything? Or do you think that they'd be like, fuck these motherfuckers? I mean, shit, as human beings, we can't even get along with fucking other, you know, people who have different beliefs. Throw it in extraterrestrial species into this mix. If they come peacefully, who's going to be You the better first shut one. the fuck up and be like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Who's going to be the first one to fuck the alien? <laughs> no matter probably, what it looks probably like. Probably you. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. If it's got a hole somewhere, or like 12, uh, I don't care. We'll figure it out. Just start poking it over. Want to come out yeah. of <laughs> What the fuck? The alien, <laughs> but then now we got to the point where aliens come, walk out of a ship and say, I come in peace, and Troy jumps on their back and starts humping. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think Hollywood put a bad connotation on aliens, so I think the general population wouldn't be accepting, but the higher-ups in government would because they would understand the value that they would bring. Mm. Okay. And like the fear of the unknown. Yeah. Well, 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 based on that, okay, especially with, like, the whole, like, Roswell thing and everything in Area 51 and whatnot, do you think that a particular government has any type of alien technology? Of course. Yeah, they have I'm pretty sure the CIA released files. Of okay, well, then, at that point in time, you believe that aliens have already been to this fucking planet. Maybe not aliens, they might have sent drones, so, drones or something, yeah, so... I mean, but, think but about it's it. Still, it's still an alien technology. We, send, we yeah. send, yeah, technology, but we don't have probably actual aliens. Kind of like how we said the rover to Mars. Okay, why would we send? Yeah, why would we put our own people at risk? Yeah. Okay, are you familiar with a gentleman by the name of Bob Lazar? Yeah, I know Bob Lazar. I heard about him from Joe Rogan. I watched a couple of episodes. Okay. Anyway, he has an interesting story, and he has been reiterating the same exact story for like 40 fucking years. Yeah, and they, they Never studied his fucking body language before. and everything. And he, but that doesn't mean anything. I know the liars that it doesn't are really look, good at looking like they're telling the truth. But he, he, well, he also makes a compelling argument, you know, to, you know, to the fact that, okay, if you don't know, basically he uh, worked at this, I think it was like S4 site somewhere on Area 51 where apparently they were studying this element 115. Yeah, he did say that. Which was apparently some sort of propulsion device. It, it's like an... If you don't know, go check it out, because it's way too much for me to explain right now. It is interesting. It is, it is, definitely. Look, look at Bob Lazar element 115. But anyway, uh, for like, you know, spacecraft propulsion. So, going off that, let's just say that he's telling the truth, right? And they got this, you know, particular element 115 or whatever it is from some sort of extraterrestrial technology. Do you think that it is, or do you think that the governments of the world are responsible enough to use this technology in a way to better the human race? But, okay. I just, just, that was that was a stupid question. Because <laughs> I think we all know. That. But do you think that they will use this in order to like make a, a power grab? Yeah, because I think I know how it would be. Because how we're trying to figure out stuff right now is ripping atoms apart to create massive amounts of energy and uh, proton reactors or 
whatever they call it. And if rock were partial like that, I feel like they would find a way to harness it and brutalize for clean part atoms to create mass and mass energy. Talking about the hydrogen collider? Yeah. Hmm. You got anything on that? It's possible that we're using a, uh, if, if, if all this bubbles are stuff uh, is true, it's possible that there is some alien technology that we're already in purpose used for military uses. What? Um, I mean, maybe, do maybe. You, yeah, do you have any specific examples that you can talk about? No, I, I mean, I, not, I don't know 100%, but it's possible that maybe that certain technologies, maybe like stealth technology could have come from it. It's possible that um, reverse engineered, right? Okay, well, and, and and think if the whole Roswell thing actually did, you know, happen, and that was an extraterrestrial craft. Think about that. We had that shit in nineteen forty-seven. Yeah. A long, long time. Did, does it seem like now? It, it, I didn't mean to cut does, you off. Does it seem like America is the ones most focused on aliens, or is it other countries of the world also? You got Russia, China. All I mean, I mean there's reported sightings of, you know, these, un well, actually, I think they call them unide uh, unidentified aerial phenomena now. Right. They're not yeah, UFOs yeah. anymore. Because they got a different term for water, too. They see them in the water. But the aliens have been around since, like, they have, like, pictures, like, drawn pictures of them from, like, uh, ancient Egypt and stuff like that. So it, it, the thought of aliens or see, extraterrestrial beings has been around for, like, going Going off of that. I think you could see those drawings. Hollywood finds those drawings, and then they create the image of the alien based off of those drawings and the, you know, what you see on film, and then that's what you depict of the aliens actually looking like. So they, so Hollywood could be depicting the drawings as something that's really not, and the ones that were drawing the drawings, their interpretation could get lost in context throughout history. But at that's the same point in time, that's Hollywood.